Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Today I'm going to make an easy no-bake cheesecake. This recipe was submitted by a subscriber and great friend of ours. Her name is Beth Hammer, and she sent me this recipe and thought it'd be something great to vlog, so I thought I would just do that. It's great. It's There's no baking involved, and there's only five ingredients. All right, and those ingredients are sweetened condensed milk, Cool Whip, lemon juice, room temperature cream cheese, and a graham cracker ready crust. All right, first thing you do, you take your room temperature cream cheese and you put the entire block into the mixing bowl. And we'll scrape it all out since it's at room temperature, it's gonna stick a little bit. That's okay. And you take your can of sweetened condensed milk and you also pour that into the mixing bowl. All right. Well, there we go. We're going to turn it on low. I'm just going to let it mix up for just a little bit. You want to mix it until it is smooth. Once you get those two ingredients mixed really smoothly, you want to take a third cup of lemon juice, pour it directly in there. And we're going to turn this, the mixer back on low and just get the lemon juice incorporated into the other two ingredients. It takes just a minute. Now, if you would rather have more of a key lime flavor to this, you could use lime juice or even key lime juice. That would be good, too. All right. Once that's done, we're going to just take the, back, the beaters off here because, well, maybe. Okay. And you're going to take your container of Cool Whip. And you're going to just put the entire container of Cool Whip into the mixture. And instead of you using your beaters, you're just going to use a spatula and you're just going to fold it in. Just fold it over. And make sure you don't stir it too hard because it will break down the Cool Whip and it won't make it as light and fluffy. So you just want to turn the bowl and just keep folding so you get it all incorporated. And this also just takes just a minute. Ooh, I can smell it, it smells so good. All right, once you get it all folded, you're gonna take your ready crust, your ready graham cracker crust, and you're going to put the mixture right into the crust. Now, it may not all fit, and if it doesn't, then I guess you can just eat it. <laughs> But we'll get as much in there as we can, which we'll just pile it on there. It'll fit. And just take your spatula and just kind of smooth it over the top. All right. Now, 
what we're going to do now is we're going to put the top back on this crust, back on the crust and the pie, and we're going to refrigerate it for two hours. We'll be back, guys. All right, while the cheesecake is setting up in the refrigerator, I'm going to show you how to make a blackberry topping to go on the cheesecake. Okay, all you have to have for this recipe is blackberries, sugar, cornstarch, and lemon juice. All right, guys, first thing you're going to do, you're going to take the blackberries and the sugar in a medium saucepan. And over medium heat, you're going to dissolve the sugar and you're going to let these cook for about two to three minutes. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like once the sugar gets dissolved and the blackberry juice starts to come out. Now, while this is still cooking, what you're going to do, you're going to mix the lemon juice and the cornstarch together. And you are going to add this mixture to the blackberries. This will help it get good and thick. All right, then you're gonna take your spoon and you're just gonna stir it up and you're gonna let this boil for about two or three minutes. All right, guys, once your blackberry mixture gets good and thick, you just wanna turn off the heat and take your pot off the eye. You do wanna let this get to room temperature before you put it in the refrigerator or before you put it on your cheesecake. It does keep pretty good in the refrigerator for about two or three days, but you just want to make sure that you put it in an airtight container. All right, guys, the cheesecake is all set up, and I've put the blackberry topping on there, and we're going to let Big Joe do the taste test. So, as usual, honey, the moment of truth. It looks amazing. <laughs> I'm excited about this one, especially with the blackberries. It is amazing. That is really good. Really good. And them blackberries. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, that is good. And I gotta agree with you guys. I got the best job in the world. Getting the taste mama bears cooking. You know what Big Joe says. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. All right, guys, that's it for the no-bake cheesecake with the blackberry topping. If you make this recipe, guys, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to know how you like this recipe. Also, if there's something that you want us to see us make, just drop that in the comments as well. We're about three or four behind, guys, but we're getting to all your recipes. We've enjoyed this so much, guys. And as always, we thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe and Malia's world into your world. Thanks, guys. Love see you, guys. you soon.